Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you how simple it is for you to place the trade on from Telegram. So this is the Telegram channel, alright? Um, this is where you receive the trade setups and stuff, right? So for this trade, what I'm explaining here, um, so far for this week, I've looked at GBP USD. Uh, GBP USD uh, is showing some um, selling pressure, right? So basically, there's initial expansion down, right? Uh, what I'm expecting is this retracement, right? To tap into this area, this retracement here, to go all the way up into this area before continuing to sell for the complete expansion down to 1.35682. All right. Now, before it, it goes up into this area, what I'm expecting is for price to touch around this area here before going up. So, on the lower time frame, what I have is a demonstration of this retracement in the form of a harmonic pattern. Right? So, with the harmonic pattern, it's showing us it's a ghastly pattern. Right? And what it's showing us is there is an area of equal highs on the four hour so what I'm expecting is for price to go down a bit right mitigate this last cell candle here or basically test this order block right this is the order block where the price is bunched together like that right to form a support in this regard so this support needs to be tested right what I'm expecting is for the price to test that support and that will be our entry our stop loss will be below the order block, right? It's, it's not much pips if you calculate it, right? Um, you're taking eight to eight to seven, and you're minusing seven seven three, right? From that, um, that's about twenty seven plus um, twenty seven again, so that's um, fifty four pips, right? If you trade, if you trade, um, if you have a thousand dollar account. You want to trade probably around um, 60 cents a pip, right? 50, 60 cents a pip thereabouts to get a decent uh, risk, right? If you trade a dollar pip, that'll be 5% risk. If you want to trade 2.5% risk, you do half of that, right? So 50 cents would be good. So here now, you have to take profits to the area where I'm expecting price to tap into this liquidity pool here right address this imbalance and then for a further drop right now if we see a DeLorean at any of these entry points that'll be great right so um, to take note of that but this is the scenario here right now when I explain in the notes right this is a this here is a 202 to pick move so it's worth taking this trade right um this area here is is a retracement level at the 7179 level which is a good area for the sell right and then so that's that's the main trade and then i have an even smaller trade that i'm looking at whereby before it goes up into this area the drop that we're looking at right to this order block testing this support previous resistance as a support right we saw the market expand out here right expand out and now it's going back to test this area as a support so before it goes into the buy again right that is what i'm expecting and so for this uh for this trade actually uh this is where the market is right now so you put the stop loss Again, even on this lower time frame, we saw an equal high here and we saw the, mark, the market came up higher and wicked, tapped into this liquidity, right? This imbalance here, and then it started to drop again, right? So the stop loss is above the wick, um, about five pips above the area here. Um, the, the entry is market execute and the take profit is to the the order block down here right so this will then trigger our second trade 
which is a bio limit right a bio limit from here entry here stop loss will be below here i shared that in the previous harmonic pattern trade and we bind to 230 pips up here right so that is my explanation for this couple of trades that i sent i look forward to your feedback and uh, if you have any questions feel free to message me uh one more thing guys uh so to demonstrate taking this trade uh what i'm gonna do is let me just check the markets to see how it's progressing all right so the sell start if you go i will go on this account just to show uh a demonstration right so here is six pips so far i took the sell um what we're going to do is we're going to place a pending order for the next trade because this trade already activated all right uh if it is you want to jump in this trade uh the risk will be the risk will now be about 60 pips right and the reward will be 58 about one to one okay um if you if you don't want to get into this one and you want to just place dependent order on this entry here right uh what you can do is go to telegram if you're trading on your laptop right you take the trade parameters look at the trade parameters here buy limit entry and here's the price stop loss here's the price and you take profit there's the price there so what we're going to do is place this trade as a buy limit pending order so we go here you see new order right uh, I could take this trade at, at, um, at ten dollars a, a pip on this demo right uh, we're gonna do a pending order it's a buy limit right so what we're gonna do is copy the buy limit entry right copy the buy limit entry here copy selected text go to the brokerage account and place that right place that trade there okay um, in terms of the stop loss go back to the broker to the um, trade the telegram copy the price go to the broker place the stop loss right then come back here you take profit copy and uh, we're gonna paste into the all oh, right okay say hey my daughter tell me about her brother hits her nose all right so you have your stop loss you have your take profit you have your buy limit price and um you could put a expiry um date if it is your day trader we say within 24 hours um i will say for this particular uh trade if it is um you're coming back into the london session or the new york session the following day to start over and take new trades you could put an expiry time right so that we uh this trade will cancel by the time you come back to look at the charts because if i do intend to look at the charts between now and then well then uh i will let the trade run and then put an expiry um time so that way um when i come the next session that is going to cancel if it is it doesn't execute right so in this case i wouldn't put the expiry i will be around to um check this trade later this evening so i'm gonna place it and now the pending order is set so you see buy limit the buy limit is at this area here the stop loss is below here and the take profit is up here in this liquidity pool area here all right so guys uh that is basically how you um execute this pending order looking forward to helping you win this week uh feel free to message and um 
Looking forward to you winning.